Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading may apply to everyone watching today. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and for your situation. And release the rest to the universe. So let's see what the universe wants us to know. What does the collective need to hear for this reading today, please? What does the universe want us to hear? What do we want to know? What is happening here in this connection? My love for you is undeniable. Now, if your person denied their love for you in the past, well, they weren't really being truthful, were they? Because their love for you is undeniable, and they very well may have denied their love for you. And they are regretting that now when they're kicking themselves and wishing that they had been more forthcoming of their feelings, of their emotions, and how they felt about you. But their love for you, they can't deny it any longer. Because during this time that you've been apart from each other, your person has been thinking about you nonstop. They're thinking about you all the time. They're dreaming about you at night. They're daydreaming about you during the day, spending all of this time thinking about what should have been, what could have been, what can be, what will be, and what are they going to do to make that happen. If your person was to make a wish and throw that wish out to the universe for what they would desire in terms of a romantic partner, you fulfill that wish for this person because you are a dream come true to this person and they should have done something about it when the two of you were spending time together before and they are kicking themselves for denying this love for those of you that happened to if your person denied their love for you, but when they start showing up for you again, they will not be denying this love or how they feel about you because they want to be all in in this relationship with you as the two of you start spending time together again. What else do we need to know? What is going on with this person? What does the universe want to reveal? What messages does the universe have about this person, please? I need a hug from you so badly. Well, yes, your person does need a hug from you. They need more than a hug. They need to wrap you in their arms and just hold on for dear life because your person doesn't like their life without you. This is why they started this reading by saying my love for you is undeniable. They can't deny their feelings for you anymore. They can't hide them. They can't run from them. And perhaps they did try to run from their feelings for you, but those feelings ran right along there with them, just keeping up with them the whole time that they were running and trying to deny this whole situation. Your person needs a hug. They need to feel your energy. They need to feel your essence just wrapped around them because that is where they feel safest. That is where they feel secure wrapped in your arms or wrapping their arms around you makes them feel loved. It makes them feel cherished and it makes them feel safe because they know the two of you have something special and something that is very unique and different from anything that they have ever been through before in their life. And that could have been one of the reasons why they may have denied their love or this connection for you in the past, but not anymore. Your person can't deny their feelings for you anymore. Let's see what else. What else does the universe want us to know? Let's see what else. What messages does the universe have from this person? What is going on here in this connection? What do we need to know? I love dreaming about you. Do you love dreaming about your person? Because your person does love dreaming about you. It's where they feel that they can hug you. Just connect to your essence, connect to your energy in that 5D space. Because your person dreams about you quite a bit. And they love those dreams because it makes them feel as if they are right there with you. What do they dream about? They dream about a future with you. They dream about the two of you taking vacations, going to wonderful places together, going to the beach, going to a lake, going to a cabin in the woods, just spending time together, just the two of you hugging each other, holding each other, having romantic moments with one another. As well, your person loves these dreams. And you are probably dreaming about your person as well, you guys watching the reading. 
Pay attention to those dreams because many times when you are in these kind of connections, these soulmate or twin flame connections, you will dream of each other. And many times in those dreams, especially when there's no contact happening in the 3D world, you will have contact from your person in 5D, in the spiritual realm, and they will tell you things that will make sense to you, perhaps when you wake up, perhaps it's several days or even several weeks later, because your souls are communicating with each other in that 5D space. Write it down when you wake up, if you remember it, or you remember it a few days later, text it to yourself, talk it into your phone, however you keep track of things, but make a record of that dream because it may reveal to you something significant that is happening in this connection with your person or just happening with them that is showing you that they're making their way back to you. But your person is acknowledging here, they love dreaming about you just like you do because it allows them to feel close to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What is happening here? What does the universe want us to hear? What do we need to know? What is going on? My baggage got in our way, so I am releasing it. Well, hallelujah. Yes, your person is getting rid of any baggage that they drag into this relationship with you because truly that baggage does not belong anywhere except in the lost and found. And that's where it needs to stay. That's where it needs to be. It has no place in this relationship with you. And if your person had not released this baggage from their past, when you were spending time together, when you were trying to have a relationship with them, it would definitely negatively affect your relationship with them. Because no matter what, no matter when, no matter how, Something from that baggage was going to surface in your relationship. And it's better that they are dealing with it now than three years, five years, six years from now, or 10 years from now, whatever. But your person is releasing it because it doesn't belong in this relationship. And it wasn't really fair for them to bring it into this connection with you. They should have released it and let it go when it happened that they didn't. They should have, not making excuses for them, but your person is at least acknowledging here that their baggage that they brought with them into this relationship with you needs to go. Hallelujah, it is going once and for all. And you know, we all carry baggage with us from childhood, from our teenage years, from high school, from when we're in college, from when we have old relationships, but we are supposed to deal with that and heal it so that we can move forward with our lives. Your person wasn't able to do that for whatever reason. Again, not making excuses for them, but they are releasing it now and getting rid of it and letting it go and leaving it at the lost and found, never to be picked up again by your person because they can see the damage that it's done to this relationship with you. And your person doesn't want to damage this relationship anymore, especially as they start rebuilding this relationship with you because they desire stability in this union with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the collective need to know? What is happening here? What do we need to know? I miss our intimate moments. I think about them a lot. Well, do you think about intimate moments with your person, you guys watching the reading? Intimate moments or reflecting upon those intimate moments or fantasizing about that stuff with that person. It is a very powerful energy, that kind of energy. I'm being careful what I say because it is an intense energy. It is an emotional energy. It is a spiritual energy and it is a physical energy all combined into one. It's very different than thinking about chocolate cake, right? It's just a different kind of thought, but these thoughts are powerful. And if your person is having these thoughts of you, you may very well be picking that up from them because, as I mentioned, powerful energy, powerful thoughts, and you can feel those thought forms and that energy coming at you. 
So for example, if you are just sound asleep and you are enjoying your dream and then boom, you wake up because you are filled with this rush of energy that's coming from your person about intimate moments, you can rest assured that your person is having those thoughts. So when you feel those things coming at you, kind of like decide how you're going to handle it, you can push it away, you can roll over and go back to sleep, or you can tell the person, yeah, okay, whatever. But your person is missing your intimate moments, but not just, it's not just about the passion. It is about the emotional intimacy that needs to be there as well, that perhaps they weren't able to be emotionally intimate with you in the past. And that is something that's going to change with your person as you start rebuilding your relationship. Their baggage perhaps prevented them from being emotionally intimate with you. And all of that, when this baggage is dumped at the lost and found, is going to positively impact your person being able to be emotionally intimate with you, to let down their guard and be vulnerable and let you in to every crack and crevice of their lives because they want to be real and authentic with you. What else does the universe want to reveal for this reading? What does the collective need to hear? What is going on with this person? What is going on? What do we need to know? What is happening with this connection? It's been impossible for me to move on. Well, of course, it's been impossible for this person to move on. You haven't been able to move on either. And your person can't move on because their love for you is undeniable and they're dreaming about you nonstop and they're thinking about you during the day, reliving all of your memories and your intimate moments and everything else that goes along with that. So of course your person can't move on. Don't let their silence make you think that they have moved on because it's impossible for them to move on. They can't forget you. Don't think that they can forget you either. It is impossible. It cannot happen. This person can't forget the energy that is between the two of you because they're acknowledging here in this reading that there is this deep connection between you. That's why they're saying in the beginning of this reading their their love for you is undeniable. They were dreaming about you perhaps before you even met. The universe was giving them signs and synchronicities about you coming into their life, dreaming of you. And when they met you, it was like a dream come true. And this person is acknowledging that throughout this reading. Your person can't move on. They may have even tried to move on. They may have tried to pour themselves into work, into, into their career, into doing something different with their life. Perhaps they've poured themselves into hobbies or projects around the house or some kind of charities where they're helping other people or hanging out with friends or taking trips. Whatever your person has tried to do to move on from you and from this undeniable love that they feel for you, it hasn't worked for them because it's impossible just like you haven't been able to move on because the souls are holding you together. Your souls are creating this holding pattern for both of you because the universe knows the two of you belong together and the universe and your souls are trying to bring you together. That's why it's really important to try to remember your dreams if you're dreaming about your person. <clears throat> Sorry guys, sip of water. <clears throat> Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What is happening here? What does the universe need to tell us? What do we need to know about this person? What is going on in this connection? What do we need to know? I hope I can make it all up to you. Yes, your person wants to show up for you in a way that may surprise you. They want to make it up to you. They want to show you that they've changed, that they're different, that their love for you is undeniable, and that they are willing to do what it takes to get back into your good graces. Your person knows that you have perhaps lost your faith and trust in them because of how they acted and how they treated you and the hurtful things they said to you. They want to make amends for all of that. And they want to do what it takes to regain your faith, to regain your trust, and to regain their space or place 
next to you because they want this connection with you. They are acknowledging here that you are the one they want. You are this dream come true for them. You are the kind of person they always imagined and hoped that they could be with, but perhaps didn't necessarily believe that they could be with you. Or would they find someone like you who would want to be with them? But you did. And you do. And this is why this person is willing to do what it takes to rebuild this relationship with you. Only this time, they will be all in. And they will be doing their part. Because they are acknowledging here that they can't forget you. They can't deny their love for you. They're dreaming about you all the time. They're thinking about you all the time. And it has been impossible for them to move on. And a hug from you right now would mean the world to this person. It would make them feel safe. It would make them feel loved. It would make them feel comfortable. And it would make them feel like they are home. Wrapped in your arms, this person feels that they are home. So we'll use some tarot cards now and see what else we need to know for this reading. What else does the universe want us to know? What messages do they have for this reading today? What does the collective need to know? What is going on with this person and this connection? What does the universe want to reveal? Strength. What a beautiful way to start the tarot portion of this reading. This is our tarot deck, Enchanted Crystal Tarot, and these message cards are our deck as well. Heart and Soul Messages Oracle Cards, and there is a link in the description for all of our decks. But we are moving on with this reading. Strength. Your person is acknowledging here that yes, you guys have a powerful connection. And that connection between you and this person defies logic or explanation. No one can truly understand or explain this kind of connection unless they have been in one themselves. And your person may have not believed this connection with the two of you was logical before, and that may have been why they ran, ghosted, denied the connection, or whatever they did. But during this time that you guys have been away from each other, they are acknowledging that, yes, there is a strong connection here. And it is something that they have never felt or experienced before. And they know they'll never have this experience again, not with anyone else, ever, ever, ever. But they're also saying here that they are acknowledging that you are strong. And that you have a courage and a wisdom and a strength and a confidence about you. And they are trying to find these things within themselves now. Because they want to reach out to you and start communicating. So the two of you can start rebuilding this relationship. And they can make it up to you. Strength is ruled by Leo. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising signs... In Leo, this is a place of validation that there might be a message in this reading for you. You don't have to be Leo for this reading to work or resonate. These readings are for the collective and all signs are included. But strength, your person sees the strength in this connection. And that is why they are saying here, their love for you is undeniable. But also, you give them strength. The power of your love gives this person strength and they are missing that at the moment let's see what else we need to know what does the universe want us to hear today what is going on with this person the two queen of wands the queen of wands is all about water and fire this tells us your person feels a lot of love for you but also a lot of passion for you Yes, the blending of fire and water makes a lot of steam, doesn't it? But with the Queen of Wands energy being here, it tells us your person is definitely attracted to you. They see a fire within you and they see you as someone who's very spontaneous, very charismatic, very witty, very funny, very charming, very passionate. And there is that definite attraction here from your person for you. The Queen of Wands is a fire sign, so if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising signs in Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, this can serve as another place of validation that there's a message in this reading for you. Fire signs here, lots of fire energy. And what does fire do? It moves, it doesn't sit still. So this reveals to us, you guys watching the reading today, that things between you and your person 
are about to get moving. But also with this Queen of Wands energy being here, this tells us your person is acknowledging that they are going to have to be more respectful of you as you rebuild this relationship with them. Because the Queen of Wands is a mover and a shaker. They make things happen. They get things done. They say what they mean and they mean what they say. And they set boundaries and your person is acknowledging here that perhaps you will be setting those boundaries with them as they start showing up for you because after this period of separation that you have been in from this person you're not going to be up for any nonsense coming from them ever again so they know that it's going to be time to be all in with you because it's time for them to take action. And that is part of what they're going to do here with this. I hope I can make it all up to you. They will be all in with you because they want to restore your faith, your trust, and your confidence in them. What else do we need to know for this reading today? What other messages does the universe have for the collective? What do we need to know? What is going on with this person? What is happening in this connection? The Ace of Wands, lots of fire today. Holy moly, the Ace of Wands is all about starting over. But it also tells us your person is going through this spiritual growth and transition cycle at the moment. And as you restart this relationship with your person, it will be on a different level. It will be in a different place. It will be on a more solid foundation where both of you are more evolved because you have each raised your vibration during the time that you are preparing for union with each other. But as well, this Ace of Wands is about starting over with your person. But more importantly, or most importantly, it is about them taking action and initiating communication with you and starting to lay the groundwork for rebuilding your relationship. What else do we need to know? What does the collective need to hear today, please? What messages does the universe have? What do we need to hear about this person and this connection? The Queen of Pentacles. Well, the Queen of Pentacles is all about stability. The Queen of Pentacles also is someone who desires and dreams about a long-term partnership. And this is very much what your person is doing. They are dreaming about you and thinking about you and envisioning what this future with you would look like. The Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising signs in Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, again, a place of validation, but you don't have to be an earth sign. The Queen of Pentacles tells us your person sees you as someone who's very pragmatic, very logical, that you are very nurturing, that you're very loving, that you are very giving, and that you do offer them wise counsel, that you're a good listener. They also acknowledge that you are so attractive, but we've seen that throughout this reading. There's a lot of passion in this reading because your person is definitely attracted to you guys, okay? That goes without saying. I just wanted to mention it briefly here in case you were wondering. But this Queen of Pentacles energy tells us that your person is going to do what it takes, that they're going to put forth the energy. And when they return, they will be trustworthy. They will be dependable. They will be reliable. And you will be able to count on them because they're going to return this energy to you of being nurturing, benevolent, loving, caring, generous, and so very giving because they are acknowledging here that they perhaps took you for granted. But with that Queen of Wands energy showing up here, they won't be taking you for granted anymore because they know that you'll set boundaries with them and not allow that to happen. This is why your person is going to do what it takes to make it all up to you. Your person cannot move on. They are in this space where they're still desiring you, but they're also willing to do the work to make sure that they can get you back in their life. And they know they're going to have to work for you. They know that they can't just show up and have everything just be the way it was. They know that they're going to have to win you back to regain your trust, your faith, and confidence in them. 
let's see what else we need to know what other messages does the universe have what is going on in this connection what is going on with this person what is happening here the four of pentacles well this is all about stability with the four of pentacles showing up and wanting to build a rock solid foundation for this relationship think of the four of pentacles like four cornerstones so yes a solid foundation but also the four of pentacles tells us your person wants to hold on to you and hold you close to their heart now there is something else going on here in this reading if you guys have been thinking about changing jobs or applying for a promotion or trying to talk to your boss about a promotion perhaps that energy is definitely here with the queen of wands the ace of wands and the queen of pentacles but also with the four of pentacles energy as well it can be about gaining some sort of financial gain financial reward through your efforts, through your work, through something that you are doing through your career, not about winning the lottery or anything like that. This is through your work, your job, your career, or something that is part of what you do in your daily life to earn money. So if you have been thinking about changing jobs right now, perhaps this is the time. Your person could also be thinking about that as well with this Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and Ace of Wands energy being here. This Four of Pentacles, though, is about your person wanting to hold on to you, hold on to this relationship for dear life. That's why they say here, my love for you is undeniable. I need to make my way back to you. It's time for me to take action and do something. But this four of pentacles can also be about a structure. So if you and your person have talked about moving in together or building a home together, buying a home together, this energy is here for you and your person for the future because with that queen of pentacles, they desire long-term partnership with you and they are seeing you as the ideal partner for them so let's see what else we need to know for this reading what do we need to hear what does the universe want to reveal to us today please well we are going to have to play the post-it game it's just a cherub i shouldn't have to cover it but yet here we are divine timing you guys know all about divine timing, and I'm sure you're probably kind of, ah, not divine timing. But you know that with these kind of connections, that there's a plan in place here, and that the universe has a plan, and the people upstairs are working that plan as they work on your person to get them to wake up here and get them moving. The divine timing of the universe is... Um, we have to trust in that divine timing because the divine timing of the universe allows your person to grow and evolve in ways that they need to. Everyone changes at a different weight. Everyone transforms at a different speed because we can't time someone's growth or transformation. That is between them, their soul, God, the universe, their angels, their guides, whatever that higher power is for your person. So trusting in the divine timing of the universe is key here, guys, but you know that most of you do. So trust in the divine plan because there is a plan in place here for this connection with your person to get it to this place where the two of you can have this long-term relationship with each other, moving in together, sharing a home together. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What is happening here? Wise woman of the grove. Grace. Your person does see you as very graceful. Absolutely. They see you as also someone who's very gracious because of the energy of that queen of pentacles. And I've said this earlier, they see you as a dream come true. They can't believe how lucky they are to have this opportunity to be with you, which then they blew because of their baggage, because of their stuff and their gunky nonsense that they've been carrying around with them. They see you as someone who is very graceful, someone who has a lot of wisdom, someone who gives them great counsel and great advice they miss this in their life right now they wish that you were around not only for that because they miss other things about you as well because 
we have this one card about them thinking about your intimate moments. You're the whole package for this person. You're what they would wish for. You fulfill everything that they wish for in terms of a partner. That's why I say you're a dream come true to them. Everything that they dream for, long for, or envisioned in terms of a partner, you fulfill everything just like they have for you. They just had to get rid of their baggage. They just needed to leave that baggage at the airport or at the lost and found or wherever it belongs, burned up in a dumpster somewhere. But they are working through that because your person is growing and transforming. And that is the energy of that Ace of Wands as well. The spiritual growth and transformation that your person is going through to get rid of the things that have been holding this relationship back from moving forward to this place of union with each other. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. Let's see what else we need to know. What is happening here in this connection? What does the universe want us to know? Sky bridge. I love the sky bridge. I don't know why. It reminds me of something, a dream or something. I envision these two pillars of this sky bridge here with these lightning coming and striking these two pillars and this sky bridge kind of like going up to the sky, going up to heaven possibility for union and as we look at this card it resembles 11 doesn't it 11 on each side or one on each side this card says there is so much possibility for union with your person even though it may seem impossible to you at this point in time because your person is acknowledging that the two of you have something special and unique and that you do belong together their love for you is undeniable and they are kicking themselves and mad at themselves and angry with themselves for denying this love before if that is something that's happened to you. But their denial of this love was because of their baggage and you know that whole catch 22 thing just kind of like all of their stuff causing them to have a little bit of that victim men mentality. But sometimes you have to lose something to be able to acknowledge how important and how special and how significant it is in your life. And this at the moment is what your person is going through. But they are saying here with this sky bridge, yes, give me a chance. I want to make it up to you. I want to do the right things. I want to show up for you in ways that I never have. I am willing to be dedicated to you. I am willing to be dependable and reliable. And you will be able to have faith in me that I will do the right things and say the right things to show you how much I love you because we have this super strong connection that is undeniable. And that is why my love for you is undeniable. Hi, Morgana. See, Morgana is agreeing with that. Your person's love for you is undeniable. Miss Psychic Kitty over there. Hi, Morgana. So your person is saying here, yes, I know that I screwed up. I made mistakes. I need to do better. I will do better because I want to make this up to you. And I will show you through my words. And I will back that up with my actions that you will be able to, to regain your faith and your trust in me that I blew, I totally blew it. That's what your person is saying, but they want to show you by presenting themselves to you as a romantic partner again, but you will see that change in your person when they appear on the scene because they have gone through this change and transformation and they have leveled up and they will put forth the effort and energy that they need to, to show up for you in a way that they never have. Because this is about your person wanting to rebuild this relationship with you. With this four pillars, this rock solid four cornerstone foundation here that won't crack or break ever again. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want as to hear for this reading, what messages do they have for the collective? What do we need to know? What is happening here with this person? What is going on here? Perspective. Your person has had a change in perspective. They can see things a lot clearly now. They're able to see the forest. 
through the trees and they see the sun peeping through the clouds. They're better off now. They have had an epiphany. They've had an awakening and they've got a clear headspace, which is what they have truly needed or they're attaining this right now but again this is what they've needed because they need to be able to understand things with greater clarity than they have understood them before this is why they're saying here i need to make this up to you i blew it i shouldn't have blown it i was fearful i was dragging this baggage around with me and i let all of it get the best of me and i'm sorry will you give me another chance i'm going to show up for you in with more power, with more confidence, with more strength than I ever have, and not be fearful of this love anymore, because my love for you is undeniable. Let's see what else we need to know. What is happening here in this connection? What do we need to know? What does the universe want us to hear today, please? Open heart, receptive, empathy, and vulnerable. This is about your person opening their heart to you. And if they have not opened their heart to you in the past, they most definitely are going to be doing it because your person is acknowledging here with this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands that they need to be loving as well as passionate, that they need to embrace this emotional connection between the two of you, as well as the physical connection that's here between the two of you. Your person wants to open their heart to you and allow your heart chakras to come into alignment with each other. Because this is about your person wanting to do the right things and say the right things and act in the right way not to manipulate you or kind of like create more problems in this relationship, but to show you that yes, they are willing to do what it takes to be the partner you need them to be with your hearts open to each other, being vulnerable, sharing and experiencing everything with each other in the way of a true partnership, being emotionally intimate with each other, letting each other in and building this relationship on that rock solid place of being vulnerable and emotionally expressive to each other. Yes, that is what gives this structure of this four of pentacles, that stability that it needs for this relationship to go long term. And if you have not seen your person open their heart to you, you will see all of their feelings come rushing out all at once to you because they can't hold back any longer. They know that it's time to start doing something and time to start taking action. And that is what this reading is about acknowledging that you are the one for them and they have seen that from the very beginning and while they may have denied this love for you way back when when the two of you first started hanging out or it was at the end of that period of time they can't deny their love for you anymore it is coming out and they're going to be receptive to this relationship and to this love and to this experience of rebuilding this relationship with you so let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want us to hear? What messages do we need to hear about this person and this connection? What is happening here? What do we need to know? Pride, arrogance, ego, and stubborn. Well, if your person had pride and ego before, that is going to be gone because your person wants to do what it takes to make this up to you. That includes getting rid of their pride, getting rid of their ego, getting rid of anything and everything that is going to prevent them from being full on in this relationship with you. And yes, maybe your person was stubborn as well. And that is something that's going to go by the way of the dodo as well, because being arrogant, relying on ego, being proud and being stubborn is not going to be part of this dynamic with your person as you rebuild this relationship because you've leveled up. You're both at a higher vibration. And when we are at that higher vibration and not in that place of ego, all of those things like arrogance, stubbornness, and pride go by the wayside. Because your person needs to be authentic with you. And that is part of this divine counterpart connection. Being authentic with each other. 
And we have that responsibility to our divine counterpart partner. Come on. And we have that responsibility to our partner, but also to the universe and to ourselves because it is part of these kind of spiritual connections. So your person is going to be getting rid of that for them to show up and apologize to you for all of their actions and words that were so hurtful to you. That is going to require them to eat a very large serving of humble pie. And they're going to eat it and wash that down with some water or some milk or whatever it is, some coffee. Your person is acknowledging here that they are going to do what it takes. And if that means they're going to have to be humble and get rid of their pride and ego, their arrogance and their stubbornness, that is what they're going to do. Because they say here, I want, I hope I can make it all up to you. In order to make it all up to you, they're going to have to do that, aren't they? Yes. That is part of what is happening here in this connection with your person. Your person doesn't want to lose this opportunity of being with you. They want to be with you because you fulfill what they are looking for in terms of a partner. You fulfill what they could ever hope, wish, or dream for. And that is what they're saying here with this energy of the Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Your person is going to do what it takes. To show up for you and be the partner you need them to be because they don't want to continue with their life without you. It's just that for you guys right now, you have to trust in the divine timing of the universe. And yes, sometimes that can be difficult because we live in a world where we want everything right now because we're used to it. You want something, you look it up online, you Call up Instacart and you get eggs or milk or bread delivered to your house and boom, it's there. You want a pizza, you get on your phone, on your app, and you order your pizza from whoever delivers pizza. We live in that world of instant gratification and everything is at our fingertips, but not these kind of connections. You have had to learn patience through all of this. Well done to all of you watching this reading. Patience is one of the most difficult life lessons, but you are doing it because you have gained your own spiritual awareness and you've gone through your own level up here during the time that you've been preparing for union with your person. Trust in the divine plan is what it comes down to because things will unfold with this person the way they need to. And trusting in that divine plan as well is important because you want to make sure that this person never leaves, abandons this connection, denies their love for you, runs or ghost ever again. So when they return, that is within the divine plan of the universe and they will be rock, rock solid, ready for you and for this relationship at that time. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What do we need to hear for this reading today, please? What does the collective need to know? What is going on with this person and this connection, please? Only you. Devoted. Your person only wants to be devoted to you. Attached. They want to be attached to you as well. That's definitely shown up several times in this reading. But they're also craving you. This is about them longing for you. This is about them missing you, desiring you, wanting to be with you. All of that stuff. Because your person is acknowledging here that yes, the love that we have for each other is undeniable. We share a strong, powerful connection. And while I may have made mistakes in the past by not being ready or having too much pride, too much arrogance or ego or being stubborn, I am letting that go because my love for you is stronger than all of those things. And it's time to let all of that stuff go. Even if I have to eat the whole pie of humble pie, I will do that because your person wants to do whatever it takes to make this up to you. And they want to be this partner that you can depend on, that you can trust, that you can rely on, who will always be there for you who will do what it takes to make sure that you feel safe and comfortable and secure in this relationship. 
because your person has had a shift in perspective. They have had an awakening and they are acknowledging here that only you, only you can fulfill what they are looking for because you are a dream come true for this person. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light. Have a great day, everyone.